Hello everyone. I just want to start off the video by saying thank you for coming. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I know I am. So, uh, yeah, throughout the video I'm going to be just kind of giving commentary about topics related to the drawing and related to the Dilophosaurus. But um, if you guys are interested, feel free to join me. Uh, if not, if you kind of just want to listen to music while you watch this or... Um, if you just generally want to have the volume off, feel free. I know I do a lot of that. You know, I like to sit and watch sculpting videos and just people put together, like, dioramas while I listen to music. So, uh, yeah, like I said, you can do that. But for the people uh, listening, I know this is different than the speed drawings I used to do. I know I did a lot of them on paper. I think a lot, if not all of them. But, uh, yeah, I initially was going to do this week's speed drawing on paper but I uh, I had done this I can't remember like not too long ago um, but you know enough for me not to remember exactly when but um, yeah and I was going to start and then I found out about the news uh, about the Dilophosaurus I think fairly fairly close to when it became you know public so I was like, oh, you know, this this looks nice. This looks new, because it is new. So, um, yeah. So I figured, you know, uh, why not? And that's why I think I did the rough draft. I want to say maybe at most a week before the, uh, the news had become public, or at least before I got to it. That's why it looks different. So, yeah. And if anyone's not uh, familiar with what I'm talking about, the Dilophosaurus has a new look, as you can see. So, uh, yeah. If anyone is interested, I have two links in the description talking more about the situation. You can... Uh, I implore you to go check out both because uh, I'm not completely familiar. I don't know all the info on the situation, so to avoid me butchering any information or just downright getting information wrong I figured you know I'll link you guys to the source so you guys can get the full context so uh, yeah one of the videos is really nice because they give a brief sort of synopsis of the situation and they have a Dilophosaurus puppet that looks really nice um, so, yeah, like I said, you guys should definitely check out that one. And then the second video is a YouTuber under the name of Edge, I believe it is. I think that's an acronym. But uh, they just give complete context of the situation. Um, so, yeah, like I said, if anyone's interested, go check out both of those. I really like Edge Edge's videos. Um, I think their Acrocanthosaurus video is one of my favorite so, uh, yeah, before I go talking about their videos for 10 minutes, uh, like I said, definitely check out both. Very entertaining. So, uh, yeah, to talk about the design for people who are completely familiar, I like it. I know they don't design them to, uh, you know, to look appealing or to look cool or anything. They design them to look like living animals, which I am absolutely all for. Uh, because, you know, I'm I'm the minority. I really love looking at just the very scientifically accurate dinosaurs. Because I think, you know, just... You know, if you can make it look real. If you can make it look like a living, breathing animal. I think that's the closest we'll get to seeing a real dinosaur. Or at least that's the closest I'll get. Um... Uh, you know, I can dream. But, uh, yeah. For the color scheme, I chose a great hornbill because they make mention that the crown or crest, whatever you want to call it, is structurally similar or uh, visually similar. Like I said, uh, I'm not going to claim to know things the so I don't get anything wrong. But, um, yeah, I figured. And if I'm wrong, you know, it, it's still a 
uh, interesting color scheme in general. So I figured, why not? Now, this is probably a different sort of opinion for people who do this kind of stuff. Or maybe it's a relatable thing. But um, I really, I have like a love-hate relationship with, uh, you know, coloring the, you know, the designs I do. Because I have a lot of trouble figuring out, you know, just how to make the colors look nice. You know, because sometimes when I draw uh, a dinosaur, I want to make the color scheme look, you know, just sort of fun. Because the design itself is sort of like, uh, you know, I'm not worried about accurate or anything. I just want to make it look fun and sort of crazy. So I want to make it look, you know, appropriate. But then there are ones where I want to make them look real, and then those are even harder. So, because... You know, I like I said, I want to make it look believable. I don't want to make, you know, this T-Rex just like, it's just like pink, you know. But, uh, yeah. So, d drawing them, I have, you know, I don't have too much of a problem with. But the colors is where I usually like, ugh, you know, it kind of takes me a little bit. I think there are sometimes I'll go through like five different color schemes before I'll, you know settle on one but uh i think as you guys saw a little bit before i was initially going to have just the underside of the tail be that sort of uh tan color and then i was like nah i like it the other way so well, yeah, in terms of drawing the ground here this is a little tedious because uh you, know, you might be saying why not use the bucket tool because uh i don't know for all other kinds of software but I know for Autodesk, the sketchbook app I'm using, it's like I, I use the bucket tool and then there's like a little line of white pixels around it filled up and it like bothers me because it just reminds me of like anyone familiar those days in MS Paint. <laughs> so I was like, you know, it it's tedious, but you know, it makes the final product look better. So that's why you see me racing here very you know, going slow, but I'm, I'm, I'm going. So, yeah, I'm uh, doing a little bit of a river here, as you probably know. So, uh, yeah, this is just, this is what it is. You know, it's tedious work, but like I said, the final product is is really nice. So, yeah, uh. I'm kind of running out of just things to say, so I'll just, uh, again, say thank you guys for joining me. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I will be doing next time. Uh, I might do a T-Rex. I'll probably do it on paper. I might do, like, a juvenile T-Rex. I've been having that, I've got that in my head for, like, the past month, because I remembered a drawing that I did, like, a year and some change ago that I really liked so yeah so stay tuned for that I'm not sure what uh, schedule I'll have for the speed drawings I know I wanted to like designate a day for them to be weekly I'm just not sure what day I'll have them um, I, I want to say Monday maybe but uh, like I said, I'm not sure. So, um, yeah. To close, I'll just leave you guys on the uh, trees here. I might put in some music. Just for the, the few seconds here. But, uh, like I said, uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching this and listening to me ramble for ten minutes. So, uh, yeah. Um, Alright, I'll leave you here. And uh, thanks again for watching.